We are extremely pleased to have you today because it is a very important day for children and adolescents with cancers in Europe. We are launching our strategic plan for the next 20 years and this is a European cancer plan for children and adolescents with cancer. Um, you will find in your handout the work that we have been doing during the last two years within the European program called ENCA, funded by the European Commission, in order to define how to develop in the next 10 years a strategic and sustainable plan to improve the both cure of children and adolescents with cancer and quality of life, quality of cure in survivors. Why? The numbers that you need to keep in mind are the following. Each year in Europe, 35,000 young people are diagnosed with cancer. 35,000. These diseases are rare, but as a whole, it represents quite a number of young people that are facing this disease. Thanks to the progress made during the last 30 years, 80% of them can be disease-free at five years with current standard multimodality treatment, which is a major achievement of all the pediatric hematology community in Europe and at the international level to design, define, and validate prospectively standard care. But all these survivors, two thirds of them face consequences on the long term. And consequence means in some of them, severe long-term sequelae that impact their daily life. Of course, the results of this research during the last um, 30 years are absolutely outstanding. But each year in Europe, 6,000 young people die of cancer, up to 20 each day. And what is extremely important to keep in mind is despite these very good results outstanding, cancer is still the first cause of death by disease in children and adolescents. And it's very important because, as you know, at the moment in Europe and globally, cancer is more and more considered as a chronic disease in the aging population. And it's extremely important that everyone understand there are still a lot to do to provide access to care to children and adolescents, to provide to improve this treatment and improve the cure rate, and to anticipate and take care of the possible consequences of the treatment when these children and adolescents will become adolescent, will become adults, sorry. So on this background, how to improve cure rate, how to improve quality of cure, how to tackle inequalities, you need to know that the five-year survival of these patients in Europe range with some differences across Europe, minus 10 or minus 20 percent. So to address this point, the pediatric oncology hematologist community through this NCAP project, and led by SIOP Europe, define a strategic plan. The strategic plan has seven objectives, from basic research to improve access to care and understanding the cause of the disease in children. We set up several cross-tumor program and platform. What does it mean? It means that to help all the groups in Europe doing clinical research, to provide patient access to innovation, we are helping in the future with platforms with, that will help them to uh, set up their strategy for these patients. And in addition, we are working a lot at the European Parliament and the European Commission level. Why? Because we need to be sure that the legal environment that is set up at the European level will facilitate the implementation of this plan, will facilitate improving care in this population of young people. 
The final point which I would like to tell and share with you in this introduction is that this plan was not designed by a little number of happy few uh, very, um, important people in pediatric oncology. No, it has been established by many pediatric oncologists along with the parents and the patients. And this is what is unique in this plan. We are working with the parents, with patients. We have established a partnership that will help us to implement this plan in the next years. And this is absolutely crucial. Working together with parents, patients, and survivors is the only way, the only way that we will improve for this patient the daily life and the probability of cure and outcome. But in addition, it's not only partnership with parents. We are developing a better and more efficient partnership with adult oncology. Why? Because teenagers have the same disease as young adults. And they have specific needs. And the best way to take care of this patient from 15 to 20 years old and later is really to set up dedicated program, dedicated health service, and so on. This is why teenager and young adult jointly addressed with our colleagues from adult oncology is one of the important goals of this plan. Another very important goal is to introduce innovative therapies, innovative drugs. And access to new drugs is still an important and difficult issue for pediatric patients with cancer in Europe. And we build a platform with all stakeholders, people from the European Medicine Agency, people from industry, parents, patients, and academia, to work together and find a way to improve new drug development for children and adolescents with cancer. So through these examples, I wanted just to show you as an introduction that this plan will embrace the entire pediatric oncohematology community with the parents, hopefully with other stakeholders, and we hope supported by the, 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 policy, de uh, the policy, well, well, decision makers, the policy decision makers, well, the people who are doing the laws and giving the money. And we hope very much that it will improve in the next te uh, 10 years the quality of cure and the probability of cure of children and adolescents with cancer. So this was an introduction. You have all the numbers and the documents uh, and the, uh, in the fold-out. This is our strategic plan, all the details. It's not only wishes, it's concrete actions um, and strategy um, to address these important goals, as I mentioned.